Well, folks. <laughs> a grand entrance. Yeah. I slid in here. Just looks like you just slid out of bed. Mm. It's, it's just really happened. It's so <laughs> cold. Look, look, it's snowing. It's, yeah. uh, we're in Canada, in Ontario. At least it looks like we're going to have a white Christmas. It is friggin' cold out. So. Yeah. Uh, we've got company coming over and we're gonna make some sweets today. Who doesn't love it's... baked goods? It's one of the best things about the holidays, let's yeah, be honest. Yeah, everybody's baked got goods. guests popping in and out and this is a really uh, great assortment of... Yeah, we're gonna make a couple things today. So one of them being a um, some Esther approved turtles because they, they're so damn expensive. So yep. I so mean, you Esther can... Esther approved amphibians. Esther approved. No, not cheaper. Turtle. A turtle. A turtle. Is it a turtle? No, yeah, a reptile. A reptile. No, are they amphibians? I don't know. You know that's a reptile. We're turtles gonna embarrass ourselves here right now. We no, it's a reptile. reptile. <laughs> some Esther approved chocolate covered yeah, reptiles. Reptiles. Oh my god, they're going to be delicious. And, and we're, we're also making these um, peanut butter maple chocolate chip rice crispy squares. Ooh. So I don't know are... if you know this, Esther actually smells like maple syrup. Uh, yeah, she does smell like maple syrup. Uh, well, you know, of course. Yeah, but, yeah. But she totally does. does. Or brown sugar. Uh, hey, baby, been, we're talking about really, you. Really, really. She recently adjusted so she can keep an eye on what's happening in here. Oh. So. Well, we should get started. Let's so, get started here. I'm, I'm going to pull out my recipes just to make sure I refresh my memory. I'm going to pull out my sweet tooth and get into this. <laughs> uh, so, um, I'm going to do the turtles. And yeah. what you need is 12 dates that, and you have to pit them first. And you want to make sure that they're squishy dates. You don't want to have little itty bitty dried up dates. You want to make sure that they're, they're plump and mm -hmm. juicy. And this one feels plump and juicy. so. Uh, I'm gonna start pitting these. And we never worked with dates before. At first, I'd ever seen them is when we we kind of tested this a couple of days ago, and they are wrong with you. <laughs> there it Both is. Very very sticky. <laughs> There's, so look at how sticky. Yeah. Whoa! Look yeah. at that. Um, so I'm gonna take the pits out. I'm gonna set them aside. So we need twelve. Uh, that's yeah. That's a sticky one. <laughs> Well, yeah, they're really weird. And then you also need some uh, Esther approved dairy free chocolate chips. Uh, yeah, I should also get that need actually some into the double boiler now. Walnuts, and you also need. No pecans. Oh, pecan. Pecans. A pecan. Yeah. You need a little bowl of pecans cut in half so the pecans are going to become the feet of the reptiles and the head. And the chocolate's going to be, of course, the, the topping and the dates and the. Uh, the vanilla are going to become the sort of caramel gooey centers. So I'm going to put three quarters of a cup of um, semi-sweet, so this is dairy free chocolate chips, so use your favorite chocolate chips. Um, semi-sweet is a little bit less bitter than dark chocolate, so, but I mean, use whatever you'd like um, if you prefer the more bitter flavor, but either way, three quarters of a cup of dairy free chocolate chips. We're putting that into a double boiler here, so we're going to melt that and get it nice and nice and smooth over here. Oh, Derek, we forgot something. Alcohol? No. Oh, it is the alcohol. It is the holidays. <laughs> so, you know, we're, it's 11 o'clock in the morning here, so I, I did seriously think about um, making us a drink. Of this making a little but it's, it's, I, I won't want to go baking. back to work. So. No, we're baking. So, we're supposed to wear. Oh, yeah. We're supposed to wear Check an these out. So that we don't. <laughs> Ruin our fancy clothes. <laughs> um, I'm all icky. You're gonna have to help me out. Yeah, no problem. How's my stuff doing over here? So, how are those coming? Are you starting? Oh, you're still not done. Yeah, no, I'm having them. them. I'm not squishing them yet. There's a lot of dried up ones, dried up old prunes. Ugh. There we go. Twelve. All right. So this melts well. really quickly over here. Basically all this is is a little pan. We don't have like a proper double boiler. I don't know, maybe maybe pe there is no such thing. People just make them. But this is just like a little tiny cake pan over a pot of boiling water. So the chocolate's not directly on the heat. But it's melting all right. pretty quickly here for us. So I'm going to add uh, one, is it one tablespoon? Yes, yeah, one, one tablespoon, tablespoon of vanilla. This is a half tablespoon measurement because we have a dysfunctional kitchen. <laughs> A cooking show. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And then, are. so you need to just keep mashing those. You, oh, need, you right. need, yeah, you need to mash, mash, mash. So give your hands a quick rinse. I, I did you wash did. before we started? Yeah. yeah. So, so give them a real quick. <laughs> 
Just making sure. You gotta get your hands all over those. So they're they're wildly sticky once you get in there. And so that's they're basically gonna become the caramel center of the turtles. And and that's it. That's all that there is to them is these dates and vanilla. So super, super easy. But while Derek's doing that, because that's gonna take a couple minutes, I'm gonna get started over here on our Rice crispy square. So I've got everything we need for them right here. We've got some peanut butter, um, some brown rice syrup. I found that at like a, you'll find it at like a Whole Foods. We have a Goodness Me is another store Your that we have a favorite here. nut butter. That's where I got it. And uh, we got maple syrup here, and the chocolate chips as well. So you look so pretty in your apron. You <laughs> where's yeah, yeah. Where's, your, where's my apron? So how's it? Is that coming together? Well, it's really weird, eh? Well, it's kind of gross. It's not kind of gross. It's well, look, look, it's it just feels sticky. gross. <laughs> it's not your everyday. There we go. Now we could play Smell around. My Finger. Steve never wants to play Eric. Smell My Finger. Um, but uh, now the, I bet it, it smells wonderful incredible right now. <laughs> yeah, it smells incredible. Um, so we need to use uh, over here. We've got where am I? I'm still on your turtles. Um, so I need half a cup of maple syrup, half a cup of peanut butter. So of course we're using all ester approved ingredients, which means that there's no animal dairy. Uh, yeah, no animal products whatsoever. Yep. So no dairy, no, uh, no meat, of course, no eggs, no butter, and and a lot of people would think. I mean, myself included. Not that we we bake every day, but let's be honest. You just assume that there's eggs and dairy and all that sort of stuff, especially in baking. Um, so this was kind of kind of a neat and pleasant surprise, especially something like turtles too, right? That is usually so hard. Kind of smells like alcohol. I don't know what it is. It's, it's, yeah, I don't know. It's the vanilla. I think I don't know. It smells like booze. It smells like booze. <laughs> so, so this peanut butter, I need a little spoon here. It's pretty, pretty runny. It's one of those organic peanut butter, so it's pretty smooth and, and pretty runny. You gotta give it a little bit of a stir. And then we're gonna kinda just, I'm gonna spoon it into my cup here. Okay, we're using half a cup, so I've already got my maple syrup in there. We've got our oven preheated on uh, convectional bake at 350 in the background, so yeah, that's, that's ready to go. Because we're going to pop those into the oven for a short while. Um, so there's half a cup and half a cup. This is a pretty messy recipe. Chef Linda told me that this stuff, especially. You can head on over to Esther's Kitchen Facebook page, and uh, we'll be posting all of this. the ingredients. Uh, so you can check that out. Easy to print it out as well. So this brown rice syrup, this stuff is super, super thick. Look how thick this stuff is. It's crazy. So I've got one big cookie now, one big cookie mash. This is going to be the center of our chocolate-covered reptiles. And... Uh, There's chocolate-covered <laughs> So how big should I make them here? Well, like a little bit smaller than that. Like, so yeah, so make that a little bit round, and then in a second, keep going. Or actually, that's not quite right. There, you got to keep it going. Yeah. Did I put three in here? I want three tablespoons. Derek distracted me, so we might have four in here. But we only want, we only need three. So yeah, again, this is brown rice syrup, and this stuff is crazy thick. I'd never heard of this before. I'd actually go looking for it. So I found it at uh, again at a goodness me, or you'd probably find it at Whole Foods as well in their baking section. If you have children, get them to do this. Cause this yeah, is hilarious. I yeah, think I got the better job. Yeah, you do. Yeah, it's kind of fun. But see, if you keep, you gotta want to squish all the little firm bits, and you'll feel how it really becomes caramel, caramelly. Like it should be nice and smooth. And <laughs> yeah, I know. How's our chocolate doing over here? Hi, Reuben. Is there snacks under the cupboard here? No, nope, he no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Okay. So our chocolate is coming along pretty good. Oh, here too. look, look who's up. Oh, of course. Hello, Miss Pig. Hi. Are you coming to check it out? Holy. <laughs> Esther is here, so she's Jeez. gonna love this. Hi, baby. What are you doing? What are you so doing? I need half a cup of these chocolate chips in my little mixture. Hi, baby. What's going on? What are you doing? What's going on, cupcake? So helpful. Oh, she says, I smell chocolate on the double you boiler. You do smell chocolate on the double boiler. Oh, you love Esther's kitchen. <laughs> oh, so good. Oh. So helpful. Are you going to be super helpful now in the kitchen, boo? So I have the pecans are cut in half in a bowl ready to go. And I'm going to use those as the legs to my chocolate covered reptiles. Yes, yes, yes. And it's are also they... going to be the head. So I'm going to roll ahead with uh, 
Yeah, so you go ahead and get them rolled out. And I've got over here, let me place these. So what we want to do before, for those um, little caramel balls that Derek's rolling, is we're going to put out 12 little blobs of chocolate for each of them to sit on. So they each sit on a little blob. I know, baby, this is so exciting. <laughs> oh, oh yes. Uh -huh. So we got a 12 Fine, little there's blobs. There's a camera and it's going to get knocked here, isn't there? Yes. Hi. You need a drink? Somebody should be servicing you. Yes, how come you're not getting a drink, baby? Hi. So, Hi. here's our 12 blobs. So, the camera's in... Is the camera in Carol? Stop. Yeah, I'm gonna, well, I'm not gonna... We'll just hold it. Hi, darling. Over. Hi, darling. I Chocolate got ya. Chocolate over here. Okay, she's back. Hi. So, I should probably... Where did you put chef? some Rice Krispies on the floor for her? Oh, yeah, baby. Here, you want this? What's this? No. No, come this way. Come on. Come here, Dudo. Look where daddy is. <laughs> Angie, you need to go outside. Come here, baby. So while daddy deals with that, I'm going to carry on making these little... These are about the size of a quarter, I guess. Um, like a like a coin, a middle-sized coin. Come on. There we go. It's so gooey. Um, the smell of alcohol has left, so I think it's all mixed in now. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So I'm told that these are going to make about 30 little balls. And uh, uh, having somebody in the kitchen to help you out put the, the little pecan pieces uh, as the legs and the head uh, would be a big help. But these are going to be so cute. And of course, uh, oh, yeah. all these can be, you can put these in the freezer after making them and put the in between layers of uh, wax paper. And then you can pull these treats out at a moment's notice if uh, guests happen to pop in. Okay, we're gonna try I've got all my shopping done. What about you? My shopping? Yeah. Oh, of course. I've been done yeah. for months. Yeah. <laughs> God. Okay, so we're occupying Esther with a treat ball because she was not interested in going outside. It's, it's very cold today for a piggy hunt. Yeah. Mm. Okay, so I am just missing a teaspoon of vanilla in my little mixture over here, which I have. This is a quarter teaspoon measurement for the salt. Two, three, there's four. And like I said, I just need a quarter teaspoon of salt. It's amazing that those 12 dates are going to make 30 little chips. It's pretty wild how far yeah. it goes, eh? Once you get like, it all squished together. But it's happening. Okay. So that mixes oh, that. Oh, hello. <laughs> We're just having a wonderful day of your day. There it is. So that's all mixed. And then I can go ahead and I've got six cups of um, Rice Krispies or whatever your, your favorite puffed rice cereal is into that mix. This recipe's dead easy. Derek's is a lot more finicky and labor intensive. <laughs> so I'm just going to mix this until these every all these Rice Krispies are evenly coated with this kind of peanut butter, uh, maple syrup, and vanilla mix here. It smells so good. What does a gingerbread man put on his bed? Oh my god, this again with your festive jokes. A cookie sheet! A cookie, ah! That one's actually funny. Hi baby, you oh, want this? Oh, you're helping. Yeah, I know, it <laughs> smells delicious, yeah. doesn't it? Do so you want to pull piece. everything in close on the table so your piggy friend yes, can pull right. it off? We forgot to mention that. It's one of the key steps in kitchen safety. So this is nicely mixed. I'm gonna put it right into this. I've just got a nine inch square baking pan here. And if you're not familiar with nine inches, you should get a tape measure and uh, just to measure, measure that out. Oh, just to just make sure, to make make you got, sure. Got a nine incher. Because you don't want to. Uh, if you make it too small, then it'll be too fat. It'll be too fat, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then it won't bake right. No. No, that's right. <laughs> the nine so inch increment gets messed up. Here, do you want this, baby? You want a little bit? You want to lick the bowl? I think that looks like 10 inches, actually. There we go, lick the bowl. No, 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 I'm, I'm measure. Bang on. 
so we're just going to squish this all down. You can use a, a fork too if you actually just, if you're having trouble getting it kind of smoothed out on the top, you can use a, um, a wet fork so it doesn't stick. All right, so I've made a dozen. I have a lot more left yeah. here in the bowl, but I'm going to call it quits because I've got a lot of little in, little reptile yeah, legs to push in. So I'm going to wash up. Like I said, you'll get about 30 out of that recipe for the turtles. This is pretty much flattened out. So you can see that actually turned perfect for, for the 9-inch pan. So can you go ahead and throw that in? Oh, never mind. You've you got your hands. When you're done your hands, Derek's going to pitch that in the oven. And then I'm going to transfer those 12 little... How do you do it, Esther? Those 12 little balls that Derek made onto these little dabs of chocolate. So these are going to be kind of the chocolate base. How long? For That's going to go in for 20 minutes. There it is, 20 minutes. So set. we need to transfer these over, and I'm just flattening them down a little bit, Derek, to give them that kind of round... All the balls? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, once you put them on this chocolate, so that gives them a little base, so that'll peel off nice So we're transferring the balls from one plate to the next. <laughs> I should have told you to put them right onto the chocolate. Oh. But we had a little bit of a distraction on account of chocolate. our visitor. Covered balls. Esther the pig here, helping out. It's so sticky. We, I know, it's crazy sticky. They really smell is. amazing with the chocolate. Yeah. And then we get to shove all these little pecan pieces in. Yeah. And making our little reptiles. Exactly. Yeah. Like that? Yep. Is that good? Yep, that's perfect. Insane. And then uh, the pecans are cut in half. Yeah, so those are whole pecans are Using well. our pecan cutter? I think they're... Oh, what are we oh. not going to get? Oh, fine. <laughs> oh. oh, good catch. Good Esther good. almost bought us a camera. Look oh. at you, baby. Hi, darling. She's so helpful. She's very helpful. There. How's it going? Okay, there we are. Try again. Baking we knew was going to be particularly challenging in Esther's kitchen. I got my pecan pieces cut in half using my favorite pecan cutter. <laughs> and then I'm going to shove them into the little blobs of caramel, which is our dates. Yep, dates and vanilla. So four little legs and then a half. Okay. Yeah, I do a little half for like a little, a little head. head. A little head. So that goes there. He's got a little head. They're so cute. Man. This one's kind of small. All right. So you keep pla placing those, and I'll get some chocolate who's still over they here. They kind of look like starfish. Well, you're not doing it right. <laughs> no, no. Here, yeah, trade me sides. Those. And I'm gonna start drizzling with chocolate, because it's just this easy. Once you get your your little pecans in, you just want to take your chocolate and drizzle over each of them. You can leave a little bit of the, the pecan sticking out so you can see your little feet and stuff. And then I tried to get it poured so that the chocolate that we pour on top meets the chocolate on the base so that you get a nice solid hello <laughs> again. Hello, Miss Maple. She back. Mm -hmm. That's one of Esther's, um, one of her nicknames. One of her nicknames. Miss Maple Ears. Miss Maple Ears. Because she smells like maple syrup. Don't they actually look like turtles though, really? They do, right? right? So, yes they do. <laughs> Stop it! So, <laughs> Esther. Careful. That, that so, going still. good girl, baby. So Esther definitely would like... She loves the smell of this. One so of once these. we get these poured, all we're going to do with them is stick them right into the fridge. They're going to set for about 20 minutes to half an hour longer. Would this be longer. considered no bake because you're just warming up chocolate? Um, I don't know if it's no bake because we needed the oven, so... Everything safe. Uh, oh, it sounds like somebody found the puppy kibble. Welcome to Esther's <laughs> Yes! Yes! Oh my god. Esther loves dog food. Uh, and so when she rests, we put down a bowl of dog food for the dogs uh, so that they can free pick. And Esther is. Uh, it's like. She, she is a. There is her sixth sense. An opportunist. It's like her sixth sense. She can, she can tell. Oh. One more needed. One more. So we're just covering these. Like I said, this is a so, semi sweet chocolate, so it's a little bit less bitter. Well, the dates are really sweet. Uh, chocolate, but yeah, the, the dates, dates are, are super sweet. 
Okay. What they're, about? They're like sugar. So folks, there it is. There are Esther approved chocolate covered reptiles. And you can go over to Esther's uh, Esther's Kitchen Facebook page. Yes. And you can check out. Uh, it's, it'll be all typed out on how to do this. And you can serve your family some of these delicious. Check those out. Well, I'll try. Esther's going to be back in a second. So come on, Esther. What's this, baby? I'm doing it. Delicious, right? Yeah. So we can't let the dogs try these because they have chocolate in them. Esther, we can let Esther have a little bit of a peanut butter square. I don't know that she needs these turtles because they're pretty rich. I don't know how much sugar's in them. Hey, Hi, Corno. Hi, Corno. But, my God, these are good. Feed these to your human friends. Mm -hmm. These are exceptional. Enjoy, guys. Super simple. It usually goes a lot smoother when you don't have visitors popping into the kitchen while you're baking. Um, but all in all, Gotta say, that's a pretty easy recipe. Both of them are pretty easy. And this is another one that's a lot of fun for the kids. Kids love to get their hands in and get messy. I mean, so do we, let's be honest. So, happy holidays. Blast. Merry Christmas, everybody. Mm hmm. Merry Christmas. Oh, Merry Christmas. Cold. What's happening in there? That sounds like the toilet, didn't it? Is there a pain in the bathroom?